One of the most magical towns is often skipped by tourists, but I was recommended by many in Medellin that Hardy and Colombia would be worth the four hour bus journey to see a colorful main square, a pueblo that feels like it has been stuck back in another time, as well as see the traditional Colombian cowboys. The beauty is not only for face value, but there are many things to do in Jardim that is the beginning of the Colombian Copia Triangle. Stick around to make sure you don't miss anything in this ultimate guide to Jardim, Colombia. But first, let me show you how to get there from Medellin. So we're just packed up and ready to get in an Uber to head to the bus station Terminal del Sol. The southern terminal is close to Pablo Oro Park and close to places like Los Patios, Viajero Hostel. And now we are about to head to Jardin and we'll be there for about two nights, maybe more, who knows. But it definitely is going to be a change of pace from Medellin, which has been like out of this world amazing and I'm like so glad that I stayed here for much longer than I ever thought. I think like 10 nights and yeah. But for now we're grabbing everything, hitting the road again and I'm taking Buddy along with me now. So when you arrive and you come to Terminal del Sol, you'll see there is a lot going on. It's almost like a little mall and you have all these bus places that you can buy bus tickets at. We're going to Jardin, we use Rapido Ocha and we booked through Red Bus. So definitely something to look at and I'll leave the link down in the comments so you can easily buy bus tickets through a lot of places in South America. Definitely made it easier. Thank you. And we get the tickets at the office. Thank you. While we bought our tickets at the bus station, you can also buy them online for a discount price. Redbus.com offers some and I saw that they're about $7.12. While the bus ride took a lot longer than originally expected, the bus was extremely comfortable, especially for a bus in South America. When we arrived in town, a tug tug came to pick us up to drive us to our stay at Casa Nativo, a beautiful escape in the jungle and mountains of Jardin. So we just arrived to Jardin and I'm really excited. The sun hasn't set yet and we're heading to Casa Nativo by Tuk Tuk. Luckily, we got a ride because we're a little bit outside of the town, but I'm really excited to show you more. Casa Nativo is a true escape in the Andes Mountains located really close to Jardin. We just had to take a tuk tuk here and a short hike up and we were surrounded by nature every morning and night when we went to bed and they had such amazing food cooked fresh for us each morning and night. The rooms as well as the common areas were so wonderful and had so much natural light that it was definitely a great place to start off our adventures in Hardy. So the trek starts down. We're heading to the waterfall hike in Jeep tour and it should be fun, but this was a lovely morning so far at Casa Nativo. We had a nicely cooked breakfast and everything it's just been a great stay so far the owner matt and his wife daniela are super cool like started this place opened it four months ago and now it's like really you know taking off i like it so far and they're right near a coffee farm that's 20 minute hike and i don't know it's just nice to be able to get outside and do some adventuring after being in the city for a while, definitely in my element right now. Courtney, what do you think? Are you in your element? Yeah, I'm definitely in my She's in her element. She's doing it. <laughs> as long as no bugs come across her path. I want to ride. I want to ride. <laughs> yeah. But it's this is definitely a nice way, you know, to get out into nature and like that, like if you don't want to go hiking in the woods for like five days to get to the lost city. I would definitely recommend this for a little bit of adventure. Definitely going down is easier than last night going up with all the bags. <laughs> but yeah, it's about a 15 minute walk down, hike down, and then we're in the Tuk Tuk to get to Jardin. And then we're gonna meet a tour agency that's gonna take us on some Jeeps and it's gonna be fun. We might meet up with somebody that we met on the bus, also from America and yeah, just have a fun day exploring this beautiful place. Right now, 
just heading to Cafe Macaranas, which is just by the beautiful church you'll see behind me. And then we'll be meeting our tour. I need to go to the bathroom, grab a coffee, and relax a little bit, maybe charge my phone. But yeah, this place is absolutely probably one of the most beautiful towns I've been in. And it's located, oh my God, this just is stunning. Check it out behind me. But yes, let's get to the cafe and then get ready for this tour. I found this awesome cafe based off of the recommendation of our host Matt at Casa Nativo and it is beautiful. It's right near the main church in Jardim and it's really, really cool and colorful. Definitely a place you need to check out and it is called Kana Cafe is definitely a place you need to check out and a lot of outdoor eating. Oh, that's so pretty. Definitely, you need to come here. When you're in Hardin, it's probably one of the most beautiful cafes I've been to since being in Colombia. And I'm sure the coffee is pretty good too. So yes, I got this cheesy queso. Check this out. It just falls apart. Yum. Mmm. So good. Very good. Cafe Mecana is so lovely. Okay, and this has to be the best cup of coffee that I've had so far. This was definitely a great recommendation from Casa de Diva. Thank you, Matt. It's so soft and smooth. This is awesome. This is now going to be my home, this cafe. So right now we're here at Cueva del Esplendor Tours and we're about to go in this Jeep to explore some waterfalls or that Jeep, I don't know what one and have an exploration of some of the natural beauty around Hardin and go to a finca farm and as well just really have a good time. I'm really excited. This is going to be awesome. And we have a G and we're about to leave. This is fun. I feel like a lifeguard today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going through farms and I think we're heading to a finca in the back of this jeep and the view is just unreal. Check this. While some people hiked to Cueva del Esplendor, taking a tour with the agency was definitely fun and more relaxing because we were able to take a jeep safari ride up to a finca where we were able to have some snacks and enjoy the views. So here we are with Jardin in the distance and the Jeep convoy. We're learning some Spanish here with everybody. They're from Medellin. And we have Thomas from South Carolina. I'm just taking a ride on the bus. Just kidding, but we're taking a ride. As we unpacked out of the Jeep, the other group returning from the falls got in ours. Then we hiked onwards to the finca where we would then have a snack for hiking an additional 40 minutes or so to the Cueva de la Splendor or the Cave of Splendor. Just cross the stream. Now we continue to hike on this road to get to the waterfall. So we just had another stop. We're here at this beautiful little finca and I'm trying some arepa de chocolo, which is like sweet corn arepa with cheese and a little empanada. So just been hiking down from the finca and we're starting to see the waterfall. hiking down to the caves and yeah they have these nice wires it's not too difficult of a hike but definitely if you have some mobility issues it would be more challenging but definitely I think it's gonna be worth it and I'm really excited we came on the Jeep some people hike 
literally the whole way up this mountain and then come down here as well. But look at this, some wildlife. And you hear the rushing water out there. I definitely recommend after going on this hike that you have some sort of water shoes that have some type of grip because this area definitely got a little slippery. So just heading in this cave to get to the rest of the group is. But so far this has been an awesome experience with Cueva del Esplendor. And I'm so glad Casa Nativo recommended it. But yeah, just getting our workout in for the day. And it's just so beautiful out. Luckily it's not too hot, hot, but perfect temperature for a hike. And they have these helpful rubber rails for you to get up. But definitely a good experience all around so far. I can't wait to go swimming though. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I So we made it to the waterfall and it is so beautiful but so I'm not getting in line. And you just feel the pressure of the water coming at you. It's like flowing wind. It's nuts. I love it though. So cool. Such an amazing experience. And up there, it's beautiful. Even if the sky is Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground and I So we just finished up our tour Had another little snack All these cute dogs are here And now we're heading back for the hike To get to the jeeps to head back down to Hardeen And look at these guys Hi how are you? So far this has been a really nice trip to this finca as well as the waterfall. Like it was nice to jump in at first it was freezing but I'm so glad that I did it and now I'm drying off on the walk back to the Jeep. Especially after getting all dirty it was nice to jump in. Thank you. But for now I'm gonna shut this off and concentrate on walking so I don't cut myself or hurt myself again. Even though there were some language barriers, we had such an amazing time. The other group was locals from Medellin and they were so helpful and friendly. Finally, it was time to head into town, check out the church, and get some snacks, of course. So we're here at Dolce del Jardin after an awesome hike in the waterfalls with Cuevas del Esplendor. We are here and I just got some the caramel they're famous for at this cafe. I also get a latte because I'm addicted to that. And some other snacks later on that we can have up at the lodge. But it's been awesome. We actually ran into another girl that we saw while we were in Guatape. And everything about this place is extremely beautiful. Check this out. Oh my god. But yes, definitely come check this place out. You can buy their caramel to go and just kind of have a coffee and chill. So another awesome Dolce del Jardin, which was recommended by Casa Nativo. It's super nice, I love it. And now we're gonna head back because we wanna hike up while there's some light left. But definitely an amazing suggestion. Thank you so much. After a fun day exploring the waterfalls and checking out two cafes in Jardine, we're heading back because we don't want to hike totally in the complete dark 
and going to get some dinner at Casa Nativo. We just arrived back at Casa Nativo, but we're not there yet because we have to hike up again. But it's been so lovely here, I love it. And we've been getting a lot of hiking in. And now, just ready to hike. She has her headlamp on, and we're ready. So we're heading into the jungle. Let's go before it gets too dark. I'm already hearing stuff. Cool. We headed up in the dark and made it just in time for dinner for a home-cooked meal. One thing that I really appreciated about Casa Nativo. So after a awesome hike today and a lot of activity, we're getting to eat and it tastes really, really good. I got this shrimp and rice and some plantain chips and Courtney got some tostadas that look very yummy and filling. But for now, let's enjoy eating because I'm hungry. After a huge day exploring Hardeen, we woke up the next day kind of late and had some lunch. So at Don de Andres, got some sopita. I got some, what did they call it? Serrado beef and some egg. Oh, sorry, pork. And she got the beef. And yeah, it looks really delicious so far. And we got some drinks. And yep, the meal's good. I'm gonna just die now. Now we're just heading to the Lago Rucha down this beautiful street. How come really the stars plant. come to shine? And then we'll take an old cable car up so to the top of this hill over a river and stuff. What so makes the sun, sun shining go to sleep out every here. night? And so what's it dreaming of? This is almost my high ground, Lago Rucha. I and wonder. This thing is definitely swinging. La Garucha is a small gondola ride that costs about 5,000 pesos each way and brings you up to a viewpoint of Hardin that will blow your mind. And not only that, there's a cafe up there as well, so you can grab a snack and enjoy the view. A little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. sketchy ride we finally moved into a place located more centrally in town so we just checked in and we have a private room for ourselves which is nice everything is super clean and hostile natty luna and we have two beds i'm on the top bunk and yeah we have some storage and everything is really nice in here and clean we just have a little kitchen area the owner is super friendly and helps us with everything <laughs> even though we suck at spanish and now we're going to eat yum to celebrate hitting a milestone on the channel i celebrate at oleo bistro at hotel casa pasiflora one of the most beautiful places in Hardin to stay so the food came and I got the Posta Negra, which is like this beef with a nice gravy on it. I think there's some mushrooms as well, but yes, also some plantain chips, some rice, and a nice little salad to top it off. But yeah, this meal looks good, healthy, and filling, which is the most important thing to me. So we just finished playing some pool at this cool social club, so random, but they had so many tables. And now we're going to salsa. This is what we do. So small world, but we ran into two people that were at Los Patios Hostel. And because Thomas, somebody we met on the bus, invited us to come play some pool. And so now we're all going to do salsa. Salsa was definitely something we were searching for, but because it was a weekday, it was pretty quiet. So we just went to the night market and bought some more food, of course. The next day was a little bit rainy and muddy, but we headed up to one of the best viewpoints, Cafe Hardin, to have some food and coffee and enjoy the views. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Welcome to Cafe Hardin. We are actually on the top of Hardin in the hills slash mountains. And you can see here they have a nice big sign. and. Then a beautiful view. 
definitely a really cool spot and they have some i guess coffee inside i don't know let's check it out we got some food got some coffee some queso pastel thing and yeah this is just a really beautiful view you can see uh but yeah the view's beautiful i'm so glad the sun came out a little bit and it stopped raining so we could come up here because that was a gnarly ride up I don't think they would take us if it was She's raining. Like, oh, we could hike. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, it's so muddy. Mm -hmm. It was very muddy. I think it was a long ride. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy this and the view. Whether you're looking for a little adventure or a cool place to stay, Galupa Eco Lodge is located right near Cafe Hardin, and we headed there to have some coffee and hang out with the owner. And not only that, you can get to try a sip. So we've just been here, had some coffee with the owner, Gustavo, and he actually built this whole like awesome cabin with his own hands. And they created this beautiful space that has the indoor outdoor feel. So if it's raining, you can go inside and hang out here or you can hang out on these awesome hammocks. But look at this view. That by far has to be my favorite part. And not only that, this is like an adventure paradise as well because they built a zip line and they have a tree canopy above me, you can see. Plus, not only that, there's a hot tub and they have a great kitchen as well down there with covering too. So in case it rains, you can be protected. But my favorite thing is the view. And also, you're not far located from Cafe Hardin. So if you want a different coffee or you want a cool view from there, you can head there as well. But definitely, definitely check this place out. They're building more cabins as well. So there will be even more space and more people can enjoy this beautiful place. But for now, let's go explore downstairs. Time for some surprise zip lining here at Gulapa Watch. Oh, this is so crazy. We're here at the top and this is the owner of the property who built this with his other My friend, friend. Canelo. Hi. Yeah, and we're about to go do a zip line really high above Hardine. Super fun. I love this stuff. Bye bye. Got it. last day fully to explore the area of Hardeen, I wanted to make sure to get to the Reserva Natural Hardeen de Rocas because it had been closed another time when we tried. So right above my shoulder you can see the Rocas. They have a very interesting head and it's like this huge red thing right above it like a big rock sticking out of their forehead. <laughs> but yeah I think those are the females actually. And they're really cool and they make a lot of noise. So you definitely will spot them when you're here in this park. It costs 10,000 pesos. And it's definitely beautiful in here. Oh, so So this is so cool. Olga here owns this. This is her house. This is where she lives. And we got to come here and see these awesome, beautiful rocas birds and she has such beautiful property here it's awesome thank you so much gracias, gracias. A ustedes. <laughs> finally it was time to call it a day because the following day was going to be a long travel adventure to go further into the coffee region and head to Salento but it was an amazing time in Hardeen and I hope if you enjoyed this then you will hit subscribe so you don't miss on next week's adventures. And as always, please leave any questions or comments so I can help answer and guide you on your trip to Colombia.